Lions TV, this is The Den Daily bringing you all the latest gossip views and transfer news from in and around the den. I woke up this morning to a text from my mate and it in turn came from Reluctant Nico on Twitter slash Patreon. I'm paying for that fucker's content, by the way. Um, yeah, that mill are interested in Wolves goalkeeper, Matija Sarkic. I've no doubt pronounced that wrong, but look... This is a situation I've wanted to talk about for a while is a goalkeeping situation because it seems one of the biggest issues at the club. But in recent times, we've actually signed more goalkeepers than we've signed anything else. I'll take you through it. Back in the last season, about a month or two to go, and we gave Bart Balkowski and George Long new contracts. Okay, not a problem. That's that's what the route we want to go down. Don't have an issue with that. Well, I've got an issue with one of them, but this it's not about him, so it's not... Involve him in this video. <laughs> Makes me fucking angry. Anyway, look. Um, we then go out and sign two goalkeepers. Uh, primarily, I think, the idea they're going to be in the 23s. And that is Ethan Waddy, who's an American goalkeeper that played for Chelsea previous to this. And Dylan Adai, um, a goalkeeper that came from Leicester. So we signed two keepers in a week, as well as giving new contracts to them. And just before the season starts, we give Connell Truman a new contract, which has baffled me. And then just before the season starts... Joe Wright gets a new contract as well, and rightly so. Joe's a good up-and-coming goalkeeper in the club. And of course, he was part of Kevin Nugent's under-21 side that won the whatever they won. Um, and then, of course, he had uh, experience last season in the National League with Bath City, and he now joins Salford City in League 2 for, I think it's the whole season or definitely the rest of 2023. So, good news for Joe, good news for us. So now we've actually got, what's that, five, six keepers? Six keepers on um, on new contracts. And an issue with we haven't got one at the starting goal in the championship is up to the standard. So um, I didn't think that we were going after anyone after signing what we had and giving new contracts to who we had. But then out of nowhere, a couple of weeks ago, there is a rumour that we are after Mark Travers. The young Irish keeper at Bournemouth. I'm hearing it was nearly deal done and you know he's going to have a medical and he's going to come on loan for a season. Anyway, it went a little bit quiet, and out of nowhere, now, he goes and signs for Stoke. Um, but Stoke were trying to buy Sarkic, and the, and the deal fell through. It's like a fucking episode of EastEnders, isn't it? So, he's 26 years old. What do we know about him? He's a Montenegro international, born in Grimsby, of course. Why wouldn't he be? Um, but he's never really played. Uh, he's had a very interesting career, actually. Started, I think, Anderlecht, his youth career. Went on to Aston Villa, uh, never played. Bought by Wolves, never really played. Spent time out on loan over the last couple of seasons at Stoke and previous to that, Birmingham. Um, and there is apparently, well, reluctant Nico, strong source, saying that we and Birmingham are in for him with a view to a loan, which will then become a permanent move. I mean, Gary Rowett said last week that all positions are open to be filled, um, even the goalkeeper. But since then, Long's had a couple of shakers, and we know he's got that in him. Um, but he's still not brought back in Balkowski. Connell Truman is the new Ryan Sanford. Uh, it's, it's very confusing. But look, for me, good news. We definitely need a goalkeeper and, and, and at least one centre-back, in my opinion, to, to get us up to speed for the championship season. Further up the pitch, don't have a problem with it. Midfield two now with the North three. Uh, yeah, got legs, got energy. And they can do the work. And then I said, I've covered it in the, in the video earlier on. If you've watched that one, if you haven't, go and check out a post-match from yesterday's loss to Sittard. Um, inundated with players going forward, exciting talent. Shame we don't really use him in that way. But yeah, look, goalkeepers, um, we definitely need one. I think we can all agree on that. 99% of us. And now we have been linked with Matija Sarcic. I've said his name three times. I've said it different every single time. But look him up. He looks promising. Um, as I said, championship experience with Stoke and Birmingham. Comes from good stock. Wolves don't buy no mugs today. Jeb Wallace, Ben Marshall, George Savile. The list goes on. But yeah, there you go. That's the news coming out of SE16-ish today. Um, via reluctant Nico, I think it's a Scott. But there you go. That's the news. Video's done, hopefully, for the day. Um, I'll be back later in a week, of course. It all gets going again this week. The previews, the blah de blah everything else. We are all guns blazing ahead of the new season, which kicks off at Middlesbrough next Saturday. Please subscribe to Lions TV. Come on, you Lions.